we are going to draw the lowest structure of CO3 2 minus which is also known as carbonate ion. Now the electronic configuration of carbon is 1s2, 2s2, 2p2 having 4 valence electrons. 4 electrons. Yeah, 4 valence electrons 2 plus 2 and oxygen has 2 plus 4, 2 plus 4, 6 valence electrons. Its valence shell is the second shell, same as the carbon. And also we are going to discuss about the oxide ion O minus which has an extra electron, electron in its valence shell which uh, then proceeds uh, uh, by virtue of which its electronic configuration increases by a single electron and hence becomes 1s2, 2s2, 2p5. Okay. Now, notice oxide ion just needs a single electron to complete its valence shell okay or to attain the configuration 2p6 1s2 2s2 2p6 whereas oxygen would have just four electrons in 2p subshell in 2p subshell and would require two electrons two electrons one here and one here to complete its uh, octate okay so it is pretty clear that oxygen is going to make two bonds whereas O minus is going to make a single bond. Okay. Now let's proceed to the structure. Right. Now our central atom is carbon which has four valence electrons. Right. Now it will make Two single bonds with O minus. Okay, O minus has the configuration like this. It will, but first I am going to draw the valence electrons. One, two, three, and four. Notice how I have placed the electrons. I am going to make a single bond here, and then a single bond here, having two oxide ions, uh, one here and one here, and then I am going to make a double bond on the upper part of carbon. Now I'm going to draw the uh, draw oxide ion. Okay, now it will have, or I'm going to just remove this ion and place an extra ele electron in place of it. Okay, so it will have uh, seven electrons. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. 6 and 7 simply 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and an oxygen here which will have 6 valence electrons 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 okay now let's draw our bonds a single bond and then a double bond I mean uh, another single bond on the left side of carbon and then a double bond. Now let's count the valence electrons. This oxide ion will have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So its octet is complete. Now let's count the valence electrons for this uh, oxygen. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Its octet is also complete. Now let's check for carbon. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, its octet is also complete and for the last uh, atom 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, its uh, octet is also complete. So this was the structure of carbonate ion and that's it. Thank you and I'll see you guys in the next video.